What's going on everyone? It's Adam here from No Shell Space and today we are looking at Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas Take Over the Holidays. This one will be coming out just shortly at retail, but I was going to give you a quick unboxing so you, can, so you can see what to expect inside the box. It's for two to six players, ages 10 plus, and it takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play. I'll flip it over to the back side here, just give you a quick look. It says, Halloween or Christmas, you decide in this quick playing strategic card game. Play as many, play as one of your favorite characters and try to collect as many holiday tokens as possible. Each character has a unique deck of cards that matches and complements their personality. Play your cards carefully to outmaneuver your opponents. The player with the most holiday tokens at the end of the game is the winner. The holidays have never been so much fun or so competitive and you can get a quick idea there about some of the components inside the box. This one is from Mixlore, and it was sent over by Asmo Day for review. All right, let's open this thing up. All right, first things first, and I know you guys like to see it, the rule book. It is a tiny one. There is only 10 pages of rules total, and the rules don't actually really start until page seven, although maybe this game overview is helpful as well. But there you go. Very small rule book. Nothing too crazy there. Okay, we've got this, which... Oh, this is the round marker. Okay, so this will mark your first, second, third, and fourth rounds. And you'll have a little pumpkin that will sit on there. Here is a big old sheet of tokens. Double-sided tokens. Presents on one side for Christmas. And uh, pumpkins or a skull face on the other side for... Halloween. Okay, we got even more tokens and some character punch boards. Oh, these punch very nice. So let's show you quickly the character punch boards. There is the mayor. Okay, nothing on the back, just a just a standard picture on the back. But if you want to read it, uh, there's the mayor's card right there. There is Jack's card right there. If we keep going, they're already getting popped out all by themselves. I didn't have to do anything. We've got Sally. Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogies. Set a dice on there. And let's see what else. We've got... Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Dr. Finkelstein. Awesome. Love the artwork. And, of course... Santa Claus. Sandy Claus. There we go. All right, we've got these little tokens here. I don't know what this is going to be for. But we're going to rip off this little paper here. I like that they use paper instead of uh, instead of plastic. Big fan. Big fan when people do that. All right, these are just different locations. And you're going to play cards to these locations to try to win and earn things. So there you go. Pumpkin Patch. Spiral Hill. Halloween Town Square, Town Hall, Jack's House, Santa's Workshop, The Graveyard, Christmas Town, and we're back at the beginning. So there we go. All right. Ho. Oh, okay. When I saw the dice on the box, I was not prepared for this. Look at these dice. First of all, nicely wrapped up to protect them. Oh, jeez. Look at those. Wow. And like different faces. Oh, not really. They're kind of just all different sized. Yeah, they're all kind of different. There we go. But those are those are some chunky. Oh, look at that! Two sixes. <laughs> uh, here is an empty bag. All right. Here is. Oh, nice. Okay. Why am I blanking on his name? Is it zero? It's a very weird standee. So this is like a um, very thin. I can bend it and everything. So it's not like acrylic. But then there's the stand for it. Is his name Zero? I feel like it's Zero. There we go. Uh, there's the pumpkin round tracker. That goes on this card here. Just like that. And you'll move that around the board. What else do we have here? This is not the greatest of inserts. Um... And there's no bags even for the cards. So if you want to uh, sleeve up your cards for this, probably not the worst idea. I'm just trying to get this off. But there are no 
There's two things of cards, but I think they're just player cards. So the back will show whose cards they are. So obviously these are the mayor's cards. We've got Sally's cards. Jack's cards. Let's just take a look at Jack's cards. They're numbered and they will do certain things when playing. When played, flip the mood token at the end of the round. If the panic side is visible, negative two. And then there's just a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we've got more special cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. With different uh, bonuses on them. There we go. Sorry, I kind of had that out of shot. So there's cards, uh, a deck for each player. Each player is going to have, oh, let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Is this not a jack card? Is this not a, oh, that was a mayor card. Okay, I was confused. So 20 cards per player. 1 through 10 with no ability, and then 1 through 10 with an ability. All right, guys, that is everything that comes in the box for Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas Take Over the Holidays. If you want to see more on this game, please let me know in the description box down below. I can't wait to play it. We're big fans of Disney. We're big fans of The Nightmare Before Christmas. And I think uh, as a family, we're going we're gonna to really enjoy playing this one. But until next time, folks, thanks for watching. And we'll talk again real soon. Goodbye.